What's good, my brothers? I hope everyone's having a blessed day today, man. I hope you guys are being productive. I hope you're using this time effectively, efficiently, working towards goals, working towards success, and continuing to pursue building that kingdom, guys. All right, so today's video, I'm actually going to be reading a comment that I got from a subscriber, and it basically had to do with my last video and how I was talking about maybe your ex coming back into your life, women that maybe from your past life that weren't coming around before necessarily hitting you back up and trying to come back in now that quarantine's almost done. You know, no one was expecting for this to happen and for this quarantine to go on this long. I mean, where I'm at, everything's still shut down. It might be different where you're from, but at least where I'm at and where this guy's at, everything's still shut down. So I just wanted to share his comment and add some of my feedback and some of my advice and share it with you guys in the brotherhood. If you guys have advice for this guy, be sure to leave it in the comment section to try to help out this brother, man. Because, you know, that's what my whole goal on this channel is, just bouncing ideas off other young guys. Because, you know, I'm not perfect and everything I say is not always going to be 100% correct. Not everyone's going to agree with me. But we're able to bounce ideas back and forth off each other. And that's what matters. And that's what grows this community. That's what helps other young guys out. So let's read this comment. So he says, bro, I'm not going to cap. I got hit with the okie doke situation. Slick. I think it was your number two or number three. I live in Atlanta and we open. My ex hits me up. I've been on no fab for like three months. Hard mode at that and I rationalized effing with her, just to relapse after I got done with her, shaking my head. But the cold part is, she went on to date, quote unquote, with this guy that she still texts and talks to, even though he doesn't quote unquote do it for her. And she met him at her job. She sells insurance, so blood got a policy, and maybe them cheeks. He definitely got them cheeks, probably. And I'm not even mad, to be real. But she tells me about them going out, and how she only keeps him as a friend, but I know better. As you should, you're red pill aware. But she's talking all this good shit about, I wanna be with you and I'll do whatever to make you comfortable. So I'm not unreasonable. I'm not gonna tell her to quit her job, but I did tell her to change her number so access would be cut the F off. And if I caught her talking to him going forward, it'd be no debate on what type of she is. Long story short, she blocks him and says she doesn't mind changing her number, but it costs $36 to do so. That's what at t told her, and she said that because I'm the one who had a problem. Long story short, she blocks him and says she doesn't mind changing her number, but it costs $36 to do so. So that's what at t told her, and she said, because I'm the one that had a problem, I should pay, even though she said she would do whatever to make me comfortable enough to deal with her. The fuck? I canceled her. But I gotta admit, the beta in me has yet to be slain, is which led me to entertain her in the first place. Look out for this gentleman, don't let her back in. Watch my video, never let her come back. My stripper ex tried to come back, I had to cut that off. As we're talking, I'm like, you add no value to me. Not to be mean, she legit doesn't. Just wanna cuddle F and get fat and watch movies. You're disrespectful as she also was texting blood while I was at her house. In her bed type of... That is very disrespectful. And there's no such thing as a partnership between men and women because that implies that we're equal but we're not. But it's one thing to say that type of red pill stuff and know it to be true and another to be treated as an alpha which I can honestly say I've been alpha before to my core but somewhere along the lines beta tendencies start taking root which that SHIT is over with. Said all that, thank you for the work you do. Basically, he said, stay focused, and he wanted to warn you guys, but there's a lot of comments in that last video, so some of you guys weren't able to see that. Maybe his comment maybe didn't reach you. I actually had to go back and look at this guy's comment, but I think it adds a lot of value to what we're trying to do here and what I'm trying to make you guys aware of, as well as other content creators out there. That during times of crisis, during during these times, you're gonna see all types of things being thrown at you, actually trying to come back, girls that you used to mess around with, maybe trying to start something back up with you, and it's just basically you're the security blanket. And in this situation specifically, his ex ha has a boyfriend. This guy is not just some friend at work, all right? They're actually probably dating or they're talking, all right? Whatever it is, they're together technically if she's texting this guy in bed. And what the thing is, the, the female will always keep around an alpha and a beta male provider. In a perfect world, she would like to have two of those guys. So she would like to have the beta that provides that security that basically makes her feel comfortable and secure while on the other hand the alpha male is the guy that's giving her the digging stick doing all the sexual stuff with her really bringing out the freak okay and this is what it seems like you are all right you seem to be the alpha that's just getting the sex 
as opposed to the other guy that's just at her work and he's texting her and he's dating her, all right? Because you're getting the free sex, basically. But then what she tried to do was basically try to put you back into the beta male provider situation where she was trying to make you pay for her phone bill with AT&T while she was still with this other guy as well and you at the same time. So she's basically just trying to be taken care of. She's like basically looking for a daddy figure, all right? And she wants you to be the daddy. She wants the other guy to be the daddy. And she wants to get dick from both you guys. That's just the facts. So you guys have to be very careful of these types of females. They're going to try to come back. You're the security blanket in a sense. And they don't really like you. They just like what you can provide for them. And that's the honest to God's truth. It's his turn right now. It's your turn right now. It was your turn before his turn. And then it's going to be some other guy's turn. And then at the end of it all, who knows how many turns guys are going to have with this chick. But they're all going to get their turn. This is 2020. They're getting passed around. That's just the facts. All right, guys. So if you have a question or any comments that you want to add to help this guy out, any advice you want to give him, be sure to type that in the comment section below. Like the video, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any more uploads. Until next time, brothers, stay blessed, continue to keep grinding, continue to stay on your purpose. Love you all.